Hi there. I have been absent for a bit. I've got to be quiet because it's only five in the morning when I have decided to record this. I made a Futurama resin art project and unfortunately for the first part I had been wanting to make a Futurama resin 3D art project and I had recorded the whole first section so beautifully and unfortunately as I recorded the painting of the background, clay sculpted the building and filmed all of that, unfortunately all of it had gotten corrupted and had to be deleted because it was unsalvageable, unfortunately. With this recent time I decided to record myself finishing it. When I was wanting to work on this, I gotta say this is just one of those crazy occurrences where so much had happened to me within the span of a month in May, not even May yet, March. So much had happened in the span of one month this year that anything has happened to me in the last five years. And unfortunately, more most of it was chaotic. All of the chaotic things that had happened to me was I needed to move. That this was very sudden, very drastic, crazy timing. <laughs> on moving, finally, I was able to get a lot of stuff in order. Another thing that took me so long to work on this again after I had finished it the last time where all of my recording was destroyed, it was actually a good thing I didn't do everything in one go or I wouldn't even have this footage. So thank heavens I have this. Unfortunately, this art piece had went missing, not during the move beforehand. And unfortunately, it had got stowed away and dirty because of it. I had to clean it out. Luckily, I had a, an alcoholic white to use that with. I don't think I could clean it out completely, but it helped. So then, of course, I decided to start working on this art piece and trying to finish it. I decided which character to use, and obviously I decided on Zoidberg. Zoidberg just kind of worked for this piece. Obviously it took me a bit, and at first I was going to originally paint him on, but I decided I made the building out of clay. I should try to display how that would look if I did Zoidberg, and Zoidberg would look more 3D as well.
there you have it. It's going to be very reflective, of course. So hopefully this I can try and record this during the day. But yeah, there you have it. There is the 3D look. I'm really bad at this. Wow, isn't that amazing? That looks super cool. You can see behind him and everything. I love it. It's on display right now. I hope it's been enjoyable. Ooh, you can see me. <laughs> um, there is still room to do other stuff if I wanted to. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I also added more clouds to give it that 3D look. I was really happy with that. But yeah, I really love that you can look behind Zoidberg, that he really looks 3D, that you could see the other 3D elements in this. I do plan on recording more and making more soon, very soon, very, very, very soon. And if you like what you've seen then, uh, and would like to support me, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. You're recording the bike. Oh, <laughs> oh it looks so good.